Hello friends. Welcome back to the computer awareness learning series by Examway. In the last lesson, we have learnt about input and output devices. In this session, we will refresh the basics of hardware and then we will see some information about computer softwares briefly. Friends, before moving forward, I have a small request. Please do subscribe to the channel Exambin to get latest updates from us. Okay, let's get started. First, basics of hardware. Hardware refers to the physical component of a computer. Monitor, keyboard, CPU are the three major parts of a computer. Here, CPU is the main component of a computer. CPU is divided into three major parts as we seen in the last lesson. That is control unit, arithmetic logic unit and memory unit. So what is the function of control unit? This unit controls the operations of all parts of a computer. It obtains the instructions from the memory, interprets them and directs the operation of the computer. Control unit converts the user's input that is received from either keyboard or mouse or any other input device and converts them into signals and then send back to them to the ALU unit that is arithmetic logic unit. Control unit uses clock inputs to maintain the sequence of the data. This speed is the frequency of the data processing and is measured in megahertz. So let us know some basic information about arithmetic logic unit. This is the part of the CPU system that carries out arithmetic and logic operations. An ALU performs basic arithmetic. Examples of arithmetic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It also performs logical operations like comparisons of values such as NAT and ROR. All information in a computer is stored in the binary form that is 0 and 1. Next we see about memory unit. The memory unit stores the data, instructions and sends the information to all other units of the computer whenever it needs. It is also known as primary memory or random access memory. All input and output are transmitted through main memory. So there are two kinds of memory as we've seen that is one is primary memory and secondary memory. First of all we will see what is primary memory that is what is RAM. Primary memory selects any part of the memory when user want to save the data in memory but that may not be stored permanently on that location. Secondary memory. Secondary memory is external and permanent memory that is useful to store the external storage media such as DVD drives, hard disks, memory cards, memory sticks like pen drive and uh, secondary memory mostly deals with the following types of components. Read only memory. Read only memory is permanent memory location that offers huge types of standards to save data. But it works with read only operation. No data loss happen whenever power failure occur during the row memory working computers. Row memory has several models such names are following. PROM that is programmable read only memory which can be read as many times as you want but cannot be uh, modified the data. Next is EPROM that is erasable programmable read only memory but it has to be passed through ultraviolet light to get erased the data. So it is not in use now. Next is EPROM electrically erasable programmable read only memory. Similar to the EPROM but it uses electrical beam for areas the data of. Next we will see some basic information on what are the softwares. Software refers to the instructions that makes the computer to work. The software should be stored in the secondary memory device and loaded to the primary memory as and when needed. Broadly we will classify softwares into two types system software and application software. The system software consists of low level programs that interact with the computer at very basic level. Examples of system software are operating system,
compilers and utilities for managing computer resources like printer software, scanner software, etc. Some of the major operating systems used worldwide are Windows operating system, Mac operating system by Apple, and Linux OS, which is uh, free to use. The application software consists of programs that are required for a user. So, system software holds down the application software here. Here, the application software is also called end user programs. Examples are like Microsoft Office Suite, emails, games. Okay, friends, thank you for watching this video. In the upcoming lessons, we will be seeing about operating system and some of the important application softwares and then Microsoft Office. We will see some important shortcut also in those lessons. But all of these lessons will be covered in the perspective of competitive examinations. So no deep uh, learning will be provided to you as you are aware of that. So deep learning can only be possible if we give hours of lessons on the same topic. But we are going to cover only the ba very basics, ultra basics of those uh, programs and softwares. So again, thank you for watching this lesson. Share the video with your friends if you like.